Now, there's been an ongoing debate uh, when it comes to non-black people wearing uh, distinctively black hairstyles. Now, recently, two white TV news anchors in Arkansas were suspended for wearing Afro wigs on uh, on air in a segment meant to celebrate uh, temperatures dropping into the 70s. So uh, the other week, Rihanna Savage X Fenty fashion show caught some heat after several non-black models wore African-style braids. Now, it has been said that imitation is the biggest form of flattery, but is it flat out wrong? So hit us up. I want to know what you think. 8669-RICKY. And tell us what you think about non-black people wearing afros and braids. All right. Brat. Now, there's now... Now, there's a difference between cultural appropriation and cultural appreciation. What do you think about that? I got you, Ricky. That? Can I say something Let me just about say. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Brett. Well, appreciation uh, is when someone makes an effort to understand and learn about another culture in an effort to broaden their perspective and connect with other cross with others cross culturally. But appropriation, on the other hand, is simply taking one aspect of a culture that is not your own and using it for your own personal interests. It often reinforces stereotypes or contributes to oppression. All right, Eva, what were you about to say? I was going to say it's a very gray area in fashion. A couple of years back, Marc Jacobs decided to do a runway show where he had a woman of all colors wear locks. And it was a very big deal. Uh, people were not happy about it because locks are traditionally a black and an African thing because of the way our hair grows. And um, it was frowned upon. However, Rihanna, who's a Bayesian woman from Barbados, who was all about inclusivity, her using different type of hairstyles, different type. I mean, last year she got backlash for geisha st- style makeup. I mean, she can't win for losing. I think when it comes to her and her being inclusive, it is very different than cultural appropriation, i.e. Mark Jacobs doing dreadlocks on Asian women. All right, Gary, what are your thoughts? My thing is, look like to me, people should be able to wear whatever style they want to have. Now, I Googled black hairstyles. They just have 60 um, um, inspiring um, black hairstyles for women. So black women was wearing wigs back in the day. Honey. They just got wigs for black women. They was wearing white women wigs. So that was their hairstyle, and nobody said nothing. So my thing is, I think you should be able to wear whatever hairstyle you want to wear. Because, I mean, look at all the black men that marry white women. Can these women, they can't bring their white woman home with an afro? <laughs> <laughs> That's a, good, that's a good point. You know, so I mean. So what do you call it when, when African-Americans, when we press and perm and straighten our hair? What, is that, are we crossing over to trying to wear our hair like, you know what I'm White saying? women? Yeah. Girls? Just saying. See, that, see, that's what I'm saying. See, it's so confusing. Right. Yeah. right. I mean, I, I don't think it's confusing. I think. When it comes to indicative hairstyles from black culture, i.e. you can look at hieroglyphics and see these hairstyles, it is very different when it's frowned upon when we wear it in school, in the workplace, which is why we have the Crown Act trying to be passed now, allowing us to wear our hair in our natural state versus the masses, white Anglos, able to wear the same hairstyles and be considered beautiful. Oh, Here's a, a double point. standard. Yeah, Bo Derrick. That's a good ass point. It is. That's all I'm saying. Like braids are beautiful, but Bo Derrick wore it and it was gorgeous. Sister Sledge wore it and it was oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. What's the problem? <laughs> right. Yeah, and uh, they took Say Steel off of ESPN. That has nothing to do with what we're talking about. At but all, really. I am not a fan <laughs> of Sage Steel so from ESPN. Happy. She is so annoying. I'm so happy. And I'll start back watching ESPN. Anyway, that was an ADHD. A moment brought to you by ADHD. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Let's go to the phones. 8669-R-I-C-K-E-Y. Good morning. I think that it's okay because us as black people, we mimic their hairstyles. So it should be okay for them to do the same. It's flat out wrong. White people should never wear dreads. If you ever stand behind a white person with dreads, you'd be scared to death for something to gonna crawl out of. No white people dreads are not for you. At first, I wasn't cool with it, but now I'm thinking, you know, we have the women walking around with their hair straight down to their behind, so it's like we're we're wearing that same type of style they're wearing. 
I think it's flat out wrong. We can't have nothing. They say all this about black women wearing long straight hair, and that's only because it started when they would not accept our natural hair. Now they want to be us. I think it's okay because we wear their hair every day. Long, flowy, curly, it's not ours. I think it's flat out wrong because that's not meant for everybody. That's for our culture because of our hair, period. And you ain't meant to be us. Leave it alone. Yeah, nobody mimicked those Jerry curls, though. Okay. <laughs> Wearing your Watson. Yeah, and the white people, when them Jerry curls came out, them white people looked at that and said, we are not wearing those kind of wigs. No, sir. Like they're looking like the uh, preacher from Coming to America. Yeah, they uh, did. They put a permanent hair. When they put a permanent hair, it get curly like a Jerry curl. But what about the moisture? Mm. I, I ain't see nobody imitating the Wave Nouveau. I ain't see nobody <laughs> imitating the what? Hawaiian Silky. Oh, huh? No. Can't free gold with silk moisturizers. Mm-hmm. Nobody. Oh. Nobody. Ever since, ever since coming to America, boy, them Jerry Curl, this stuff for uh, my, my, uh, one of my best friends, George Fleming, daddy, uh, Dwight, has still has his curl, and my stepdad, Punkin, still has his. But other than that, uh, ain't too many people got them, and they still $70. All right, y'all. Uh, if, you want, if you were not able to get in on the topic, y'all hit us up on social media. More Ricky Smiley, more of the show coming up. <laughs> 